On the popular video site YouTube, there exists countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Welcome to Law & Order Legacy's Case the Second! Thanks for sticking around this long. Now for things to get better, let's go! It better get better. It is gonna get better. Nope, nope, we already did episode one. We got two stars out of three. Probably because we did some shit wrong, but who cares? We're just here to solve murders and do good, I guess, so... Next one! Episode two. Home to Roost. Hmm. Is I that see, like a garage? I see like a saw a and blood on it. I, I think that's what I see. Am I, I seeing that? Yeah, it's totally... A hacksaw. Ooh, this is gonna get, uh, spooky, so hey! I'm excited! You ready to get going? Let's do it! ALRIGHT! In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime, and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Quick, what was that from? What? What was that opening crawl from? Coming, the sweetie. First one Good. Shh. Mommy's here, Noah. There's so many to choose from, you know. There's right. an individual. Oh. oh. Zombies? That guy does not look good. Neil? Pasta sauce! Is that you? Everywhere! Oh. Hmm. Uh, he might have died. That's quite disquieting. Just, just a Did little bit. Did you see bit. anything when you opened the door? Anybody on the street? A car? No, nothing at all. At first I thought it was some kind of prank, but then I looked down and saw... Neil. That's... Okay, okay. <laughs> That's all the Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, you just gotta know what you saw. We don't need to hear your life story. Prank. <laughs> yeah, well, sounds like he was a real cut-up. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> well, right? That was a that was a one-liner that he would do, right? <laughs> right? Wrong series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so leave the one-liners like to... way stupid wrong series. Oh, thank you, Law and Order Legacies. Oh, and we're back. What's that, goulash? Get it out of here, Ray, for God's sake. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad to me. No, it smells too good. Julia's got me on a health... Uh-oh. Uh diet. She's got this Sorry about that. crazy idea high blood pressure is a bad thing. Sounds like a real nut. I give it three weeks. The diet or Julia? Both. Roger, <laughs> report on Neil Jensen. Oh, that's Explain some dry you. humor, all Poor right. bled to death. Well, Poor that would explain all the red stuff. This game, oh my gosh. All right, Lieutenant Vibirian can survive five minutes about the case. Yeah, that's her job. Ask her about the thing. So, <sighs> ask her, yeah, let's, let's, How let's many go ask her about the wounds. Talking about? Can, Over a dozen, can I read most it? most of them are superficial. Victim Please. bled out from a deep laceration Ooh. to the femoral artery. Ooh. He got diced up to death. Did the woman met the cause of death? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, he would have crawled to his home. He still would have had enough power in his legs. For at least a few minutes. Right. So how does it match? She, she, she's telling me! She's telling me this! Uh... Yeah, there we go. Death by dying? Death by dying? Is that, that what that, that said? That was the first answer, the top one. It said that. Huh. Alright, let's talk about something else. Time of death <laughs> and the weapon. Alright, let's talk about the time of death, even though it was probably at night when we saw it happen at night. Time of death? 4.17 a.m. Apparently, Why does it always look like he's rolling his life. eyes? Just barely. Because he's the sarcastic like young the upstart. <laughs> well, at least he got to die at home. When did he get wounded? Around two. Slow bleeder. Well, we've all got problems. <laughs> Did Jensen die instantly of his wounds? Of course no, not. No. He crawled. 
Duh, we know that. Are you paying attention to the cutscenes? Hell, huh? oh, a little bit. <laughs> what? Midget vampires? What? What the fuck is this? Oh, wow, I am glad there's no time limit because I'm glad I can take time to read these wonderful answers. Oh, wow. It Shit. took him two hours. Two hours, okay. I actually wasn't paying attention. It wasn't one or two. Yeah, it uh. was two. All right, what about the whip, hun? What do we know about the weapon? Switchblade, maybe? See, it's right like, length, oh, but Roger says like it was curved. Like through a my eyeball. Victim he was, was shot, in, actually. Like midget Grim Reaper. Oh, my goodness. Like the What's with the midgets? <laughs> Anything we can use to ID the perp? No fingerprints, um... But it appears some of the blood on Jensen's clothes wasn't his own. Our victim got in a few good jabs before he went down, huh? What does the lab have to say? Ooh, Results aren't back yet. Yeah, Any they're like it's looking like they're, up th through the brow. It's like they're they're rolling in his head weirdly. <laughs> yeah. Van Buren. Uh huh. Really? How do they? Uh huh. So glad I turned uh -huh. subtitles on. Elliptical <laughs> and nucleated. Got it. Well, let us know if you find out anything else. I think we could have used some lab. breaks in there. Elliptical and nucleated? The red blood cells? Turns out it's not human. It's bird blood. Bird blood! A dead one, I'm guessing. So the, the weapon was, was a coat hanger help. then, was it? Or he was pecked to death? <laughs> Excellent work, well, great. You will grace your detective rank. Hurrah. Red herrings found. Zero. Yeah, I didn't follow no midgets. That was the one to find. Alright, so. Let's keep on going. Go. Jensen. Hold off a minute, Lenny. I got something here. What the hell what? was he doing? He's just like... The Jensen's nanny. She's waiting to do, do, bus, do, 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 Look, no, his no eyeballs are time. still rolling in his head. That's weird. <laughs> Mind if we ask you a few questions? What's your alibi? I bet you were there! Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. In bed. Where else? Here? As I in only work bed. I live in Bedford. Gosh! Gosh. You were in Checking bed at Bedford? Yeah, bullshit. Cuffer. <laughs> <laughs> that was not plausible. I was not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Back to the real Let's get case. serious. <laughs> what was your relationship with the deceased? Did you Person, know you I'm assuming is a stranger well. here. You mean, were we lovers? Uh, that wasn't where I was going. But do you want to be lovers? No, he he was my employee. I had some big blow dick up in there. Uh, I liked him though. We I had a lot of good talks. That. He was interested in stuff, you know, ideas. He was really interested when he found out I was a Wiccan. Oh yeah. He oh, you're a Wiccan. I can't tell. Oh yeah. Does this ruler out as a suspect? Yes. Does it? Yes. Does it really? Yes! What? I guess it doesn't. What the fuck? We got one more fucking strike. Shit, now I gotta, I gotta pay attention now. Fuck. How did Mr. and Mrs. Jensen get along? Did they fight? All married couples fight sometimes, I guess. I don't plan to get married myself. I used to say that too. Yeah, I said it a bunch. Yeah, it never did me any good. <laughs> everybody fights in front of the nanny. Press the topic further. Yes. Yeah, why not? I got that one right! Oh, ooh, yay! Ooh. The nah. nanny is cute! <laughs> Unhelpful and combative. Acting suspicious. Fighting and... <sighs> what? Wait, fighting in front of the nanny could be a sign of serious marital tension. Huh? I think that is the one. Well, it's neither that, neither that. Well, he just said that they were fighting in front of her. But that sounds like a joke answer, but you never know. It could be... This is... Shit. Whatever. It was either that or the widow stated her nanny was acting suspicious. Go for it. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was guesswork. Woo! Alright, let's talk about this fighting. 
What did Mr. and Mrs. Jensen fight about when they fought? When they fought? What did they fight when they fought? They fought. I guess he was better at spending it than making it. And new babies cost a lot. He was pretty pissed when she cut off his allowance. Allowance? What? How old was he? Twelve? <laughs> hey, don't tell her I told you that. I want the nice as it is. Oh. Could there be trouble in the Jensen's marriage? What do you think, yes. Jergoff? Sorry, we'll slow down for you idiots out there. So which conclusion is not spoiled by the idiot's words? There was tension but those two strikes up there, it looks like we're the idiots. Well, I would say about this because he said nothing about her and the wife. Because she's like a total third party in all this. This is all about them. They fight over themselves, right. over... Yeah, so this this is it. What? 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 Here's my bus. I'm gotta run. Okay, Where you Becky, you get back here, you bitch! Damn you! What? Ah! Come on, man! Hold off a minute, lady. It was the one some... down. Oh. Something here. What? The Jensen's. Then let's not. Wait. Oh, thank God, right click skips. I don't know if I remember <laughs> that or not. So why don't we try this again? Alibi. Yeah. What's your alibi? My parents, if you don't. Possible alibi. I guess it was. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. All right, gold star. I mean. Yeah, gold star. Silver star. It's gold star. Did you know Neil Jensen very well? We painted in white. You mean, were we lovers? Uh, but... No, he he was my... So blah, blah, blah. This is really right as a suspect. I guess it doesn't. We haven't had to have check our alibi. That's Danny's are always lying about oh, something. Oh, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be <laughs> it. All Curtis right. believes her. Well we, well, we don't know if she's telling the truth yet. You right. Know, innocent until proven guilty, all that nonsense. There we go. There we go. Now we're on the right track. Hooray. All right. Now we can talk about Wiccans oh, now. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Wiccans. Don't they sometimes sacrifice animals? Oh, my God. <laughs> Chickens? Oh, no, this is just going to be the best one of my life. life in all its forms. God, people have such ignorant ideas. Nice going. Yeah, but nice not guy. Not fans out. You found a red herring. I can't of tell if it is. I can't tell if that's good or not. I mean, it is. It's like a little. It's like a secret bonus. Is it a collectible? Like or yeah, does like a dock, an Easter egg. Does it dock against me? It's like, it's ha ha! You gotta, you know, whatever. No, I don't think it. How did Mr. You. and Mrs. Jensen get along? Did they fight? We already oh, know that they fought. They fought, they fought. they fight, and they fight when they fought. They fought. Okay, so it th was that one, right? Yes. Woohoo! Three stars. Doing good so far. Fighting. What we're catching up. Mrs. Jensen fight about when they fought. Not the usual money. M money, no, babies, quit. children. How yeah. old was he? Twelve. Hey, don't tell her I told you that. I want the nice as it is. Yeah, cause you look like you fucking did it. But yeah, perfect marriage. It's no, it it's not is. that one. It's so that it's one. It's there none was... of the, It's not what I thought. Which conclusion is not supported? The Jensen's fought about the baby. Hmm. Because they fought about money. And there was tension between Mr. and Mrs. Jensen. And there wasn't tension between... Her. That's what I picked last time. Though. Right. Don't don't pick that. It's the Jensen's fought about the baby. Um, Has to be. Okay. okay. All right. I don't know how I did it, but that's cool. That's fine. My bus. Got to run. Which got was all it? We need out of her. Come on, let's talk. It to was the baby. baby. He I told you. It was. Man. Oh well. Whatever. We made it, we got everything, we're good. So let's go. I'm sorry I wasn't much help to you last night. 
We quite understand, Mrs. Jensen. You've been through a terrible shock. Please call me Ellie. And I apologize again in advance. I'm going to have to cut this short when Noah wakes up at 3.55. You've got him on 3 schedule? 3.55? That's very specific. Wait specific. specific. <laughs> Set your watch by him. All right, so let's talk about shit. Yeah. Neil and money. Neil and money. Let's hear about this money. My husband was a writer. Oh, maybe I've read some of his work. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, I he's really obscure. You've sound. never heard of him. You don't by any chance subscribe to the meta modernist quarterly. So your I've, husband I've been wasn't a ten year reader. You, you don't know. You don't know me. Wasn't that difficult for you? I mean. Him not bringing in a I could be the reason. editor. You don't, you don't know that. I believed in my husband's work, detective, and thankfully my income was sufficient to support both of us comfortably. I'm principal at PS84. Oh, yeah? I don't believe Where you. Where was Neil last night? Where was Neil last you know night? Where your husband went last night? I have no idea. He left the house around nine, said he'd be back late, and I shouldn't worry. But you did. Of course. But no more than usual. This was par for the course for Neil. When he's working on a new Boy, story, you dress he'll go really off on research boring, you know that. Often at strange hours, sometimes for days at a time. And he never talks about it till he has a rough draft on paper. Doesn't want anyone to influence his thought process. Does her statement contradict the time of death? <sighs> Fuck. I never know what they're gonna ask me. Yes. I guess not. Fuck. Fuck. But he he stayed out late, she said. Went out at nine and was out late. Neil and the nanny. Well, let's talk about your nanny, nanny, then. Adam Marie Velasquez. This may be an indelicate question, but uh, your husband never... Uh... Briscoe! He didn't like to flirt, but he wasn't a cheat. None of your business! Sure. Down, boy! I know what goes on in my house. I'm sure of that. And I installed a nanny cam to make extra sure. Oh. oh, let's be talking about this nanny cam. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> well, let's talk about Neil's history. Neil's allowance. Has, uh, what's... No, I want to know about this allowance. Why, do, why does she give him allowance? Like, I don't give you an allowance. That's just ridiculous. Because I make my own money. I exactly. Mean, yeah. I heard something about you cutting off your husband's allowance. No. Really? Just <laughs> no? Just fucking no? What? Do I believe you? Hell hey, no. Hey, I don't think I believe you. <laughs> Correct. She's a lying whore. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, all right. Uh, Ed Marie already stated that, so, Bam yeah. Beer, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Who told you that? Adam Marie? We're not at liberty to divulge. <laughs> She's alluding to the fact that I took Neil's name off the savings account last week. I didn't enjoy doing it, but... Yes? Oh, who am I kidding? I love doing it! Seeing the tears run down my husband's face! <laughs> recklessly. He'd get so caught up in his work, prudence would go out the window. I used to put up with it, but new babies are expensive. That's exactly what the nanny said. Alright, let's talk about Neil's history. Neil's see what kind... History. See what kind... What kind of lifestyle does Neil lead that gets him to be cut up like that? Anything you can tell me about your husband's background? He had a poker problem in college when I first knew him. Junior year, I had to cover his student fees because he gambled away the money his parents gave him. Of course, that was 15 years ago, but I worried maybe he was falling back into Don't old do it on, on poker. You do it on manly games like Russian Roulette. Nope. Neil's spending habits. How much did he Any spend? Any idea what Mr. Jensen wasted your money on? God knows. Like I said, Does he, he was really? very closed mouth about his research expeditions. Uh, I, I believe you. No! I'm not supposed. I I lie. She lied to me. What's that noise? Our chickens, Henny, Penny, and Maxine. You've never seen chickens in New York? Well, sure, but they usually come with biscuits and a side of mashed potatoes. Oh. <laughs> of it, officers. Urban farming is the wave of the future. Plus, yeah, I don't know any urban farmers earth. anywhere. Plus, ever, once you've tasted you? homegrown eggs, those watery yeah. factory produced things just know. make you gag. Really? Oh, wait, yeah. Like, <laughs> my parents? 
Let's talk about chicken blood. Chicken blood. One of the things we're trying to make sense of here, Ellie, is we found avian blood on your husband's clothes. Avian? Bird blood. Oh. I don't know what the word means. Oh. It's just very odd. Uh, avian. Maybe your husband slaughtered avian. a chicken for dinner last night? I don't think so. He doesn't take much of an interest in them, to be honest. They're more my thing. He only helps out when it's something I can't bring myself to do. Jeez. What's that? Neil and the chickens. Do I want to know this. Does he fuck the chickens? No. Tell me, does he uh, fuck the chickens? chickens? Is it not the nanny you're worried about, but the chickens? Say, Neil would do the things you couldn't bring yourself to do. Yeah. Well, raccoons got one once, and he cleaned up the mess, but that oh, God. was ages ago. And I made him get rid of Roger last July. Roger? A cockerel. He started out as Rebecca. Oh. See, keeping like hens Betty. is perfectly oh. legal in New York City, but it's against it the law woman, to keep a rooster. Turned out to be a rooster. Makes sense to me. We raised our brood from chicks, and of course all chicks look alike. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> soul, but yeah. the process isn't foolproof. We bought four hens. And one of them turned out to be a rooster. Right. By the time we found out she was a he, I had grown fond of him. Oh god, did you fuck the rooster? Get rid of him myself, no, they had so to kill it! Oh. It. But like I said, Are you just reading and not paying attention, sir? I'm trying to weave my own fantasies in. He took it back to the farm we it got might from, fuck me New over. Jersey. Cora's Cluckers. I can give you their number. They know Especially since there. I have one life left. All right, oh, yeah. let's talk about this missing poisonal item. Was your husband missing anything when you found him? Any valuable personal items? His wallet? Was on him. Eight dollars and a MasterCard. His Rolex. Did Van Buren ever mention a Rolex found on the body? Nope, I didn't hear no, no Rolex. Because that would have stood out. Yeah! Woohoo! No Rolex on the body. I gave it to him on our 10-year anniversary. It's engraved. He always wore it. There goes the alarm. 355. What'd I tell you? Right on schedule. <sighs> that was terrible. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I'm gonna label her suspect number one, just because we don't know too much about her. So, the wife, sure. major sus- Okay, it's either the wife or the chickens. I don't think it was the wife because he fucked one and the other. He, he fucked one and the other fucked him over. No, I don't think he would come crawling back to wife if he knew wife killed him. Hmm. 